Hello, Design System friends. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to our video. Today, we want to talk about the power of AI in design systems and our upcoming workshop with Chris Luders. And Chris is a design systems lead and he's super deep into AI and design systems. His workshop will take place live June 11th. And if you don't have time, you can get one of our recording passes. So um, today I want to know what the workshop is about, Chris. What are you going to teach people? It's a four-hour session. That's a lot. But you're yeah. so deep into AI. <laughs> you're posting all these hacks on social media. And you, you are the right person to do this workshop. The best person I could imagine. What? Please uh, introduce yourself, Chris. Yeah, hey Sylvia, and thanks for having me. Hey. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, I'm freelance DS uh, or design system lead, uh, working with several um, clients, uh, building up the design systems, and I'm doing this for, I think, four years now. So it started uh, when it was really, yeah, in in the beginning of the whole design system topic. I mean, this topic is around for like, way more years now, but when it started uh, with, yeah. We started with Sketch and um, what was the cool tool? Uh, abstract, right? So that you have version control and so on. So it was really, um, yeah, different in the beginning, but now it's a bit better or, a, or way better. And um, yeah, doing this for several clients and it's really fun and cool. But yeah, I when the AI topic came up, I thought we can make it even better and let us help with the annoying tasks um, for the design systems. So the rep rep repetitive stuff and um, yeah, documentation, stuff like this. And this is what the workshop topics will be about. So um, it's about creating design tokens with AI um, and UI component inspiration, because of course we need some UI components in the end, and we can let us help from Midjourney, um, for example. But there are other tools as well. Then, as I said, the documentation, because a lot of companies don't have enough, uh, yeah, people to do the documentation, and it's really annoying and takes a lot of time. And AI is perfect uh, in supporting us there. Then, in general, how can ChatGPT help us? Because I think ChatGPT is the most powerful uh, tool out now for design systems. But there are other tools coming up and I would um, speak about the upcoming AI tools as well. And mm. yeah, everything that will come up maybe within the next weeks, right? Because I want to uh, have the really new stuff in there. That's amazing. Let's, let's actually show people some details here, this is Chris workshop coming up, the power of AI in design systems. It's a live workshop. So there will be also live Q and A. So you can ask your questions and Chris will try to automate, automate your problems. So you will save a lot of time, but you will already learn a lot. It's a massive time saver to use AI, right? Especially as a freelance designer, you don't have that much much time for your clients. So imagine you can automate all of your repetitive tasks like creating design tokens. Um, also something we are going to show in a second in this, uh, in this session. So the link to the workshop will be in the description and it will be really amazing to see a lot of people in this workshop because I think you will love it. You will save a lot of time. And um, so, Chris, you have been working a lot um, in design systems for clients and design tokens is a big one, right? Design tokens and design documentation. For design yeah. um, system documentation, there's either no time <laughs> or nobody to do it, but or nobody reading it, unfortunately. Yeah. But um, if there's something coming up, you need it, but then you need it, right? But beforehand, there's nobody to do it, to create it. And often there's nobody who's um, going to read it. Is there anything AI can help us with, with the design system documentation? 
Yeah, of course. So um, I think especially to have a starting point for a documentation, it's very helpful. So um, every client and every company has their unique uh, problems or their unique brand and so on. So um, there are uh, specific challenges for every company, but to have a starting point for a documentation, it's it's very good for the component documentation, but even for the guidelines or the design principles and so on. Mm -hmm. And um, I think one important thing to mention is that people think they type in one prompt in ChatGPT and then the perfect result will come mm -hmm. up. Uh, will come up. But uh, sometimes you really need to talk to this thing and uh, yeah, ask more specific questions or give more information about yourself. So if the um, the answer is too generic for um, component documentation, for example, then give it more information that you want to have in there. And so this is a small thing that I experienced a lot that this helps a lot to get better results from ChatGPT, for example. Mm -hmm. You're also a big fan of, of Tokens Studio, mm -hmm. which is the plugin saving all of our lives because uh, finally you can create design tokens in Figma, which is a massive time saver for you as a freelance design systems lead. Now you don't have to apply, adjust and maintain Figma styles manually, like doing it by hand all day. <laughs> and losing control and an overview. How has Token Studio helped you uh, in your daily work as a freelance design systems lead? Yeah, it, it uh, changed my daily life a lot <laughs> because it's way more efficient. So um, yeah, I'm not sure how much time I'm saving, but uh, estimation or guesstimation is around about 30% maybe. So especially if you're setting up the design system. And I think this is... Uh, yeah, the most time-consuming uh, part in the beginning is to set up everything, right? Like the yeah. type scales and the color palette and so on. And uh, then the different themes. And uh, yeah, if you don't use Token Studio, theming is <laughs> especially very difficult. And there are some plugins that try to do it, but most of them are not really, really good because they are just inverting the colors and that's not it. And with Token Studio, you can define manually <laughs> um, what what kind of um, colors should replace the ones from the light mode, for example. Um, and yeah, if 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 you set up everything, and with AI, it's a little bit easier, as I will show later. Um, then theme switching is super easy and super fast. And if you want to change some of the things later then it's way faster than before um, because you can really yeah add a purpose to a color for example right and with figma styles the native ones it's really difficult to whether you have a lot of different colors and a lot of writing in there and then people get uh, confused um, or you don't have it and with token suite it's very yeah, you can set these purposes and the meanings of the colors. And this is really helping a lot. Yeah, 30%. It sounds like almost two days per week you can save. <laughs> yeah, as I said, in, in the beginning, right? So if yeah, you yeah. have later, later you want to change some things and then it's, but I mean, it's really quick as well if you want to change something. So it will save a lot of time, definitely. Yeah, I can recommend it as well. We are using it for all of our clients. It's a massive time saver. If you want to set up themes, light theme, dark theme for multi-brand, multi-product, if you want to explore headless design systems where you only have skeletons of your components unstyled, um, you can connect it with Token Studio and just style all of your components and control everything. That's every value can be controlled by Token Studio. And we recently did a workshop with Jan Six, the creator of the Token Studio plugin. We will put the link in the show notes. Um, totally recommend to have a look. And this workshop is also taking place during our conference. The power of AI in design systems is taking place during the future of design systems. We'll be doing another conference coming up in June 8th and 9th. 
So it's uh, only a couple of weeks left and we have invited the best, the creme de la creme of design system pioneers and leads to talk to you about design systems. So this time we want to focus on headless design systems, automation of design systems, um, design system, data-driven design system management, design tokens, all the good stuff. We will be shaping the future of design systems again. Because I remember two years ago, we invited Jan Six, the creator of Token Studio, to speak at our conference. And this plugin is still massively used. So we are looking for all the cool stuff which you can use later in your day-to-day -day work practical hands-on content. And the URL is interdesignsystems.com. Tickets are now on sale. And now back to you, Chris. We have mentioned Token Studio and you have found a cool way to create design tokens automatically, which is a massive time saver. It is also part of your workshop, but yeah. I know that this stuff takes like almost, I don't know, two or three weeks. And now you can do it with a few clicks. Do you want to show us the hack? Yeah, sure. Please. Um, sharing my screen. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Generating okay. type token set for Token Studio. Wow, the Token Studio folks will love it. Yeah. So um, this is one prompt and uh, it took a lot of time to get this to this prompt. So the idea in the beginning was to save a lot of time for myself, but I think I didn't save too much time for myself <laughs> <laughs> because it <laughs> took a lot of time to get to this uh, result, but I finally have it. And uh, you will now uh, save a yeah. lot of time. Yeah, everyone you. else will now save a lot of time. Exactly. I know that it took days for you to come up with this prompt with the right prompt right yeah so and i had to test it because the thing is that uh, the results are not really consistent if you don't know how to do it and so i it took a lot of time to get consistent uh, results and that's why it took so long mm -hmm. um so and i saved this prompt here and i just copy it so um Basically, what is it about or what's it, what is it doing? So it's creating a JSON uh, file um, because Token Studio is working with JSONs and um, therefore I'm asking it to create a JSON for a design system or, or a type scale um, within a design system and what should be contained. So headline, intro, body caption. And you can, of course, change that if you have something else um then what kind of headlines we want to have h1 to h5 then the font sizes what you want to have of course you can uh customize that um here font weight normal should be named regular this is one thing sometimes ChatGPT is doing stuff that might be correct from code perspective for mm -hmm. example um the font weights are called sometimes like a numeric, like 400 instead of regular or 700 instead of bold. And then you need to tell it to ChatGPT to do it right. And yeah, to make it quick, um, in the end, I give a short example of the uh, formatting that I want for the JSON structure. And uh, yeah, then it works. Okay, so I just copy this and go to ChatGPT, which is still here wait a second okay and you need uh chat gpt for for this um yeah, so it's it's, the, it's paid it's better, yeah to to use the paid version to get better results right yeah but it's it's definitely yeah. worth it i mean if you don't have anything for your design system yet and you pay like 20 dollars a month for chat gpt plus and you're doing what i'm now doing adding the stuff here and you have your type scale for example then you already saved more than twenty dollars, right? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah, I I think designers or people need to think uh, more like time and money wise. So you will spend twenty dollars, or you will spend three hundred dollars to get a ticket to your workshop, but you will save weeks of time. Yeah, exactly. And if you have a daily rate or hourly rate, <laughs> in yeah. two or three hours, you will have like your money back. Yeah, so the twenty dollars are nothing, right? So <laughs> yeah. I'm enter this now, and then this happens, 
couple of errors with ChatGPT. If it's normal, then you just reload. Uh, it's I sometimes think annoying. Are already used to it, yet. yeah. So I know it's writing it. What's sometimes Ooh. happening is that it's interrupting itself so that it stops mm -hmm. to write it down. I hope it doesn't happen now. But then you could just write, uh, continue writing here. Mm -hmm. and then take this pieces of code and uh, stitch it together in visual studio code for example but yeah most of the times now with this prompt it didn't happen yeah so <laughs> let's see <laughs> and yeah the magic here, of ai yeah here you what see, is it doing yeah exactly so here it's uh defining first the font family and i told in the prompt it should be montserrat but of course you can mm -hmm. take i don't know comic sans whatever <laughs> and um, font size, so it's defining the font sizes, and the name will be um, XXL for 80 pixels, because mm -hmm. it's in the token, it's referencing to these other, to these properties here. And then it's defining the line height, the font weight, um, and then it's defining the, yeah, the types, styles, so H1, consists of the font family Monterrey, font weight is bold, font size is 80 pixels, line height is 69. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and it's still writing here. That's so cool. What was your biggest aha moment when you use chat GPT or AI, like all the new AI stuff? Because I see you posting all the time, all these cool AI hacks. Yeah. What was the coolest one? Yeah, I don't know. When I really started with ChatGPT, it was crazy. And but Midjourney is super crazy as well. So mm -hmm. uh, especially the latest version of Midjourney, it's just completely nuts. Um because it's creating <laughs> things out of nowhere. And um yeah, it's always uh, again and again impressing me. So now um I copy it out of here and we go to Figma. Mm -hmm. Open Token Studio, new empty file, so it's nothing in there, right? Mm -hmm. So here it's completely empty. And now we click on the JSON button up here because we want to add this JSON code. And now it's important to delete this brackets here. Mm -hmm. And then I paste it in. And now it's in here. It's automatically formatted by Token Studio, which is really nice. And now you save the JSON. And it defined wow. the stuff here, right? So you it have has the... created all of the tokens. Yeah, exactly. So wow. you have headlines That's... here. This is one category, um, intro body caption, and now these properties here. That's absolutely sick. Like, look at this. Yeah. Usually you have to do it manually. Click on plus, give it the name, the value, next one. Yeah. Oh, you need also need to think about the structure, right? So how do I want to set it up? What is the name? Is it font size? And what is the naming? Yeah. Yeah, you need to do everything manually. That's so, and, so cool. Oh and the cool God. thing is that you now can uh, create these automatically by Token Studio as uh, Figma styles as well. Mm. Type styles. So create styles. So click on styles, then create styles. Then you can leave it like this and create. And then you have everything here, right? Wow. So you now also have the Figma styles yeah. in, this, yeah. in this structure uh, with two clicks. Exactly. And it's enough to have the free version of Token Studio, right? Because in the bottom right side, it says Get Pro. So you, it's enough to have the free version to, to use this. Yeah, absolutely. So you don't wow. need to pay anything except of the <laughs> ChatGPT for it. And <laughs> uh, as I said, it's it's absolutely worth it. And uh, I mean, Token Studio is worth it as well, right? And uh, now, if we want to see what I did here, you could even use the um, the plugin auto documentation, mm -hmm. um, and then click on fonts here so that it's documenting this color automatically. Oh and my God, that's so cool! This, right. And to see better, we could add a section around it, make wow. it white. And then here the uh, order is a bit odd, but that's it. And then you have everything here. So no way. <laughs> have a preview. And you see how long did, did it take, right? 
it's like a second for this. Yeah, that's epic because this takes days, if not weeks sometimes. Of course, now there will be a lot of back and forth with other designers, developers and people, but then you can use another prompt or just um, adjust the values in Token Studio and then you have it again. (laughs) That's really, really impressive. So cool. Love it. And the good thing now is that with uh, Token Studio, you can easily change these values, right? And so if you have the the font sizes um, defined there and you change the font size once in Token Studio and it's changing for everywhere where this font size is uh, connected to. And so this is one huge um, improvement that you have with Token Studio instead of doing this manually uh, in Figma because then I need to go in here and define it everywhere here for mm-hmm. each type um, style. Amazing. Yeah. I'm sold that. already. I will. I will. Uh, I will attend your <laughs> workshop for sure. I need it. I need it for my clients. I want to automate more of this repetitive work. Token Studio already improved our work a lot, because now we can set up all these multi-brand, multi-themed systems for clients, and then just I don't. I don't want to say it's super easy, but you just open Token Studio, change values, and then it will be updated everywhere else. And um, before we had, yeah, some issues because of course people also do mistakes when it's done manually. Mm -hmm. So this is natural that you will do some mistakes and then you need to check all the values. And then, yeah, it's, it's a mess with token studio, you're on a safe side. It's definitely worth learning it. And it's so cool to see this prompt and this automation that's, it is taking Token Studio even like to the next level. So, yeah. so cool. I, yeah. I will be attending your workshop June 11th, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central European time, live four hours workshop with Q&A. And if you cannot make it, um, the recordings will be or are the recording passes are on sale as well. Yeah. And I'm just super excited to, to think <laughs> about and see what will happen of course on the workshop (laughs) but um yeah what what upcoming tools are there so the there will be so many cool tools that are that will evolve the whole design sphere a lot um for example there's this one tool called ui zard wizard i don't know Mm -hmm. it's uh, the naming is a bit weird but um i've seen this a couple of years ago and you're doing like this scribbles for like a wireframe for a page mm-hmm. and then you make a photo and then it's creating this in design and code directly stuff oh like this God. right <laughs> and um yeah really really uh looking forward to this new thing so that if you're a ux designer and or ui designer and you're doing design system stuff as well so that you still have time for the most important things right because people are always afraid of um ai stealing our jobs but I think if you're using it right, then it's more like helping you like a tool and uh, so that pe- people can focus on the most important things, like uh, focusing on the users, right? And think mm-hmm. about the needs of the users and stuff like this. So, yeah. Yeah. Think about, I I want to say more important stuff than how to set up auto layout. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Accessibility documentation maintenance of the design system all all of this stuff we don't have time for yeah. motion i don't know there's only a few design systems documenting motion really well because of course we don't have time for that uh, yeah. it feels like many people are stuck in figma adjusting styles um auto layout and all this stuff day by day it's like oh it's like crazy I'm so looking forward to all these tools helping us with automation. I'm not a big fan of AI creating the whole system or design or anything just with two clicks, but all these repetitive tasks and all these steps can be automated. So you're still full in control Yeah, and you can still decide what you want to automate. I think that's the perfect mix. Yeah. Yeah. And to, it shouldn't go in a direction where it's super gen- generic and every design looks the same. Right. So, uh, but if you're just taking all your time 
of of your designers and to set up the stuff technically and people can yeah don't have the time to think out of the box and trying new stuff right so then it's getting in a very generic direction but uh, yeah maybe ai will save up time to do yeah to do more exciting stuff as well and not doing all the same and we are all uh, copying uh, the design of linear or something like this right <laughs> and um, yeah but doing our own cool things again yes awesome i cannot wait to see you and people at the workshop june 11th live four hours workshop and for our conference June 8th and 9th, if you like practical hands-on design systems, nerdy content with live Q&As, and then those events are perfect for you. For sure, yep. you will love it. All right, Chris, thank you so much. This thank was you. really impressive. I cannot wait to see what you're going to show at the workshop. And we, I will see you there. Yeah, cool. See you there. See you bye there. Bye-bye.